听，拜拜。Today I want to show you this Taiwanese people's go-to soup in winter time. It's not just a soup; it's a soup that has meaning to every woman. For Taiwanese women and for Chinese women, we have to do nothing for a whole month after you give birth. It's a month that you pamper yourself. You do not work. You do not touch water. You do not even shower. I know it's gross. We want to make sure the woman is pampered, so you want to give them a lot of nutrients, good food, and let them rest as much as possible, so they can recover and become a brand new healthy person. And this soup is the one that all women in Taiwan has to drink after they give birth. So today I want to show you how to make this soup, and it's actually very simple. It's just. Three simple ingredients, and it's gonna make you very delicious soup. Let's get started. Since this is a black sesame oil soup, so what we really need is the black sesame oil, the ginger, the chicken, and some Chinese rice wine. So most soups in Taiwan, you will need ginger and green onion for ingredients. But today, this is a special one that ginger. Is the wine to shine? So we will need a lot of gingers. We actually will need two of these babies. And the first thing is we're gonna peel them, and then we're gonna thinly slice them. Chinese people believe that ginger is a really warm, hot ingredient that can help you warm up your body. When you need to thinly cut something. Make sure you sharpen your knife before you do it, because Chinese people also believe you want to do something real good. The tool matters, okay? Make sure your tool is in perfect condition. You want to make sure you heat up the pot really hot before you put in the black sesame oil. Now I can feel the heat from the pot now, so I know it's hot enough now. The pot or the wok is really, really hot. But once you put the oil in, you still want to make sure you give it time to heat up the oil. Now it's about time. You see the smoke. You want to put in the ginger, and be careful. It's gonna sizzle. It's gonna splash a little bit. Oh. When you started to see the ginger curling up, don't think, oh my god, it's ready, it's there. No, I mean sauteing good, a good amount of time, a good three to five minutes. You want to keep going until the volume has shrunk down to at least half or even one third of the original volume, and the ginger looks like a really old skin, very curly, very dark color, and then you put in the chicken. Patience, patience. Now the ginger is looking really good. I'm gonna put in the chicken. Sign of being yummy. So another pimple, which is tip in Taiwanese. When you put in the chicken, make sure you don't just dump it in. Because no matter how well you drain the chicken, there's gonna be some juice in the chicken. And with oil, when you liquid meat oil, it's not gonna be pretty. Okay, so make sure you put them. In slowly, and you want to sauté until all the chicken changed color. That means all the yumminess sealed inside the chicken, and then we'll add liquid in. Okay, now all the chicken has changed color. There's no pink on the outside, so we know it's time for the liquid. And once we put in the liquid, the ginger is gonna be rehydrated a little bit, and it's gonna look prettier. So today we're gonna use only pure Taiwanese rice wine. This is the traditional way. But of course, if you don't like to taste too much alcohol, there's other way that you can do it. I'll tell you later. Let's put this in first. So a few things I want you to know about this dish is we're not adding any salt to this soup. It's the original flavor that's coming from this black sesame oil and the chicken and the rice wine that gives you this savory taste, 
But also, you're gonna taste the sweetness. It's the kind of sweet that you taste it after you swallow the soup, and it's coming from the back of your tongue. The umame taste that Chinese people go after. Okay, we call it the back of the tongue sweetness. Cooking is such a personal thing. So if you want to add salt, go ahead and add salt to your flavor. Another thing I want to let you know is how you can substitute the rice wine. If you don't want to put all the rice wine in the soup, you can cut down in half and add some chicken broth in it. Or you can just use chicken broth and in the very end, before you're gonna serve it, you splash some rice wine on top of it and turn the heat off so you get the fragrance of that rice wine but it's not so alcohol taste. Now it's boiling, so we're gonna cover it, turn the heat down, let it simmer for a good 20 minutes. Are you ready for this? This smell is killing me. I've been waiting and dying to try it. Oh, look at that steam. The black sesame oil on top of it is keeping the heat really well. So when you drink it, you want to be really careful. This soup is going to be really hot. For Chinese people, we want that black sesame oil in our bowl and drink it because that's one of the ingredients for this whole soup. But if you don't like oil, you don't want it to be greasy, you can totally kind of push it away and then just get this clear soup into your bowl. This is smelling really good. You need some chicken. And you need that ginger that you saute patiently into the bowl. I can't wait to give this soup a try because it's been smelling so good. Remember though, because it's covered with this black sesame oil, so it's super hot and it keeps the heat for a long time. So when you're holding the bowl, when you're drinking it, you want to be really careful, okay? Now let's dig in. Oh, this is so good. Remember I talked about that back of the tongue sweetness? So good. And I am a ginger, green onion, onion, garlic kind of person, so I'm gonna eat my ginger. Mm. And the chicken. Perfect texture. Perfect. Still chewy with texture, but not if it's soft enough. This is a perfect soup. For winter time, for when you're feeling down, this is a soup that you should try, okay? This is not only warming up your body, I feel like it warms up my soul. It's almost therapeutic to have this soup. So when you're feeling down, when you're feeling cold, you might want to give it a try. Thank you for watching. If you're still watching, probably means that you really like it. If you like it, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing content. And most important thing is to share the love. And also, go check out my website at chachasqueendon.com. <laughs>